Uh, this is my first time here, and I didn't actually expect or know that there would be an opportunity to read anything, so I'm using my phone, too, because that's how I found it. <laughs> so, um, excuse me, I have to unlock it now. Um, turn around. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> I, want, I want it to turn around so I can actually read it. There we go. Okay, cool. So, um, this is uh, called Dylan, a letter to my son. I kept you tucked away, safely, in a drawer. The cabinet crusted over with cobwebs, the drawer dragging its weight every time I opened it. Sometimes I would rummage around and pull out a morsel of our time together when you were sheltered inside me. But I lived quite oblivious to your skin knees, crayon valentines, and sweaty socks. I didn't see your first step, hear your first word, or feel the first fuzz on your chin. I don't know if you like avocados or won't eat anything green. I never had to move my car so you could get to yours. I wonder if you, too, have discovered an allergy to milk. I fear that your kneecaps dislocate like my brothers and mine do. I don't know if they still call you Bobby, or if you are now Rob, or Bob, or Robert. I don't know if I'm a grandmother. I surrendered to wiser counsel and left a tiny, tiny creature cradled in white in a glass-lined room. I tolerated my ignorance, felt it appropriate, safe, good. My father never discussed it, neither did my grandmother's. Your father never understood, his sister didn't either. When she told me he was murdered in prison, I was glad I didn't have to tell you. I named you Dylan. Your parents never knew that. When I saw the snapshot of your first birthday many years ago, I knew from the inscription on the back that they called you Bobby. Your na last name was locked away in a vault and I never searched for it. Last month I was given the key. A person bearing your name, your birth date, is located in a city 75 miles away from me only 300 miles north of where we last met, me gazing from outside those glass walls, you still unable to focus your eyes. Before I was afraid to step forward because of so many steps I had to take back. Now my ignorance and fear of your rejection is no longer supportable. I slide the drawer open and come what may flies out, I can't close it again. Thank you. Thank you.